Hello everyone. So today let me show you something uh, really interesting and uh, again there are so many things in Jira that uh, are sometimes either too obvious or maybe they are uh, not really worth talking about but uh, uh, that is of course my I think my responsibility on this channel I try to share as much as I can. Now if you are working on let us say your uh, scrum board let me open my one of my scrum uh, board which is basically uh, a simple board in a typical Jira board in Jira. Let us say you're doing a planning and uh, as a product manager, as a scrum master, whatever role you are playing, you're maybe trying to create some stories or tasks, whatever, right? So you can have like some items in your backlog or anywhere in your board. What you can do, you can actually click on uh, this, uh, like right click on your issue. For example, let us say you have written this uh, story or task. This is the issue, issue summary or whatever <laughs> whatever issue you're talking about. You can click on it and then you can sp split it. So this is amazing because when you're doing the split, let us see what happens. So if you look here on the right hand side on this issue summary, let us say this is uh, issue number one and it has uh, this description, right? This come on description and you think that this particular issue needs to be maybe broken down into few fewer stories maybe you want to fill up some text fields so i'm just trying to fill up some some data in this and uh, maybe you want to split it i mean we, we are just going to do a simple uh, split and uh, <clears throat> i just want to show you how it works so let me just do one more thing before I can split this. I just want to update the story point. So let us say the story point is six because it will look nicely if you enter something here on your uh, backlog. You can see that, okay, this is my issue with the, I, I, I have too many issues on my backlog. Where is my issue? Okay, this one. So what you can do, you can click on split issue and you can say, okay, I want to split it into maybe issue two and uh, maybe I can I can say here okay three this is three let us split it uh, shall we shall we enter maybe one more okay let us create one more issue three and maybe the effort is uh, one two so basically we are we are just bro breaking it down come on okay and split simple right it is very simple and it works really nicely and if you notice here you have this issue two which is uh, basically uh, uh, in a way it is not really a clone it is just a new issue but uh, uh, you can see here if you look here uh, that the story points are preserved for you and uh, it, it hasn't really copied the data but uh, it has actually created a link which is basically of type split from so if you go to that particular issue one it can uh, display this here split two so basically it's it's not a subtask it is just a simple issue link but you can do it very easily and similarly if you look at issue three it has uh, of course a link so i thought i'll probably share it because i, I i'm sure i have shared it before in the past but uh, i found and uh, i just noticed that okay this is something that i haven't really talked about a lot but it can be useful because uh, i think when you're doing some planning uh, in your board, in your backlog, you want to maybe you have identified some stories that may need further breakup and and you want to break it down uh, into a into another story or stories. But you can do it very easily now with the help of this option here. And of course, using this link, you can have some traceability. So this is useful. I, I like it. And I thought I'll probably share it with you. Hopefully, I hope. I hope you found this video useful and you also learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.